What's happening guys, Mike here from Hammer Fitness again and in today's video I, got, I want to talk to you guys about how to get filthy rich mentally and physically in four steps. Now, those four steps by personal opinion is health, firstly, wealth, love, and happiness. Uh, so those four combined, I think you're essentially going to give you a filthy, rich, mental and physical aspect in life and overall happiness and fulfillment. Now, I think health comes in at number one. So what's all the money in the world if you're not healthy? If you're a billionaire and you're on the verge of having a heart attack or you're bedridden all the time because your health is really, really poor. Now, I'm gonna give you a bit of a personal uh, story of mine. And it was only about 12 months ago that pretty much I felt like my life was almost on a decline and it was absolutely drastic. Now what happened was I got on some medication for my skin. This could have been avoided if I simply went for, let's call it the more difficult route because a lot of people seek out for medication to help themselves when it's as simple as a diet change. Now maybe being a personal trainer, I should have known this already. Uh, so my health and fitness was already pretty good, at least I thought it was. Um, I trained about five to six times a week. I ate a reasonably healthy diet, um, as you can go, guys can see if you follow me. But for some reason, I decided to take that shortcut. That medication was Rakuten, and since that, I went through the, almost the worst stage of my life. Now, almost to the point where I wanted just to absolutely give up. Now, if you know me on a personal level or even through social media, you know that I like to give and give information, help others. And I was in a stage of my life where I had to literally look after myself. I could not, for the life of me, look after anyone else. <clears throat> now, when I realized this, I knew I was in strife. Uh, so I almost copped every single side effect from this medication and I was just going through the worst time of my life. Uh, and all I could think was running a gym, being a personal trainer, trying to help others. How the hell am I supposed to help others when I can't even help myself? Now this is where health comes in. Now you can be absolutely fantastic at whatever you do, but if you at any stage down the track get confronted with some health issues that could have been avoided due to something as simple as health and fitness through your diet and let's say training, well wouldn't you much rather that? You, I mean you can't really put a price on health and fitness can you? Now this is a massive eye opener for me because I know that the medication industry is absolutely huge and it's pretty much the go-to i mean some people yes they do need it but i personally think a lot can be avoided if the education of health and fitness and diet was a lot higher than it is today and i think it's getting a lot better through social media all right so this is a turning point for me where i thought i had to reach out and help as many as i could teaching them about diet because it is so underestimated and so underutilized what diet is. All right, so diet isn't something that uh, you decide to do to lose weight or get on a cut. It, diet is merely the form of what you eat. All right, so whether it be maintenance, whether it be bulking, whether it be cutting, it is just your diet. All right, and whether or not it is healthy or suitable for who you are, is a different story. So that's where you really got to look at what you're doing, what you're putting inside your body every single day. Just think what what medication is. Just think a tiny, tiny little tablet can cause such dramatic effects. Now, no, it's not the same when you're putting food into your mouth because food is made for consumption, but food is consumed day in, day out, every single day of your life you're gonna think it's gonna be doing something, uh, whether it be good or bad. Uh, and a lot of the time, the food industry is growing at such a dramatic rate with undereducated people. I mean, it's not even their fault, like they, they don't know what they're doing, so they're just eating away, even saving money on cheap products they don't know that is actually destroying them on the inside because they can't actually see uh, the acute effects. 
Now this is the problem. The, the effects come later and then you have to deal with it later with medication and everything else. Now my solution was actually dairy. All right, so I ate copious amounts of dairy. All right, so my diet sat anywhere from about four and a half thousand calories to six thousand calories and a lot of it was uh, pasta and dairy um, products. Now I'm pretty much gluten and dairy free. All right, and that's helped me absolutely dramatically. So after the medication, it took me a while uh, to figure out that I didn't want to touch gluten. For one, I think it's bad. Um, and two, I think everyone should really be uh, gluten free because of what it actually does in the body. The body is not even meant to break down gluten. It releases an enzyme, just to cut a long story short. The body produces an enzyme to break gluten down, which it can't actually break down fully, so it produces an enzyme in excess. Now, this enzyme in excess breaks through the intestine walls and it actually screws our pretty much metabolism up and insides up by releasing toxins and whatever else that are going through your intestines through this uh, broken wall because of these enzymes. All right, so this can lead to other dramatic effects, um, including leaky gut syndrome. If you don't know what that is, just chuck it into Google, but it's just definitely not good, all right? And it's not gonna help your health one bit. So before I go on for too long, I think health is number one. Look after yourself, all right? So this isn't me preaching to come to the gym. Find what makes you happy, all right? Just get physical every single day and just keep consistent, all right? And just learn as much as you can about diet, whether it be my social media or just on Google or YouTube, just figure it out and just look after yourself. Make yourself the best you can be through your health. Now that brings us to pillar number two, wealth. Now a lot of people say uh, money is the root of all evil or money isn't everything. Now money isn't everything because you've even heard of the richest people in the world still not happy. All right? So money can get you a lot of things and I think people look at money the wrong way. All right? So it's not money that is important or means everything. It's what money can provide in value. It's the value that we're after. That value can be a source of freedom, it can be a source of security, it can be a source of happiness or fulfillment by giving away to charity or helping loved ones, helping others in need. All right? So, so many different things you can do with money. And at the end of the day, a lot of people are in search to be as rich as they can be. Now, I don't believe in making absolute billions if you, if that isn't your goal, but you just want security. And I personally, I just want security. I wanna be able to help not only myself, but other ones and maybe even give some away to charity and just live a happy life like that. Because at the end of the day, you can't take it away uh, to the grave, so why not help others around you? And that in itself is gonna bring you fulfillment and happiness in itself, to help others. That brings us to pillar number three. Love. Why do you think you love your parents so much? Now, I really hope that everyone loves their parents. If you don't, well, that's really sad, but why do you think you love your parents so much when you're a baby? Okay, things may change when you grow up, but when you're a baby, there is no one that you love more in the world than your parents. Because guess what? They loved you first. Now, that's something special because if they loved you first, that's almost impossible for you not to love them back because they care and they nurture for you so you're going to love them now this principle applies when you're growing up as well and just in everyday life all right so you are only going to be loved or cared for as much as you love and care for others all right so as well i think love is almost like a transfer of energy you can only give so much and not receive in return for so long and then you're pretty much going to give up Okay, and I see some people that are just mopey all the time and sad and don't care for absolutely anyone and I kind of feel sorry for them because that merely may be a case of them not getting cared or loved for maybe in their history. So that's really sad but I really wish the best for them and wish someone loved them a little more. So, conclusion, love like you wish to be loved and that brings us to pillar number four. Happiness. What is life without happiness? I think you could be the fittest person in the world and have no money and be stressing out of your head and probably not be the happiest person in the world. Now, you may even be the wealthiest person in the world and have absolutely poor health, bedridden every day, and that may not be happy either. Or 
you could be the fittest, most ripped person in the world, and the wealthiest person in the world, and have no one love you. Now, close to seems impossible, but you can see where I'm going, that wouldn't be happiness either. Now, I think for true happiness, you really want to have the best of all these pillars. All right? Health, wealth, love, and happiness. Just find what you can give as a person. Conclusion is pretty much be as healthy and be as fit as you can be to be the best person you can be. This way, you can pretty much live your life the way you want to live it, get the dream job, live your passion, maybe even create your work as your passion, and that's the way you're going to make your wealth, and from that, you can love more uh, by giving more, and ultimately, have fulfillment and happiness. Boom. Win-win. Okay, I know money isn't that easy to attain, but if you take baby steps and work on each step, you will find happiness and at the end of the day I think if you're happy and you've got a lot of love around you and you're keeping yourself relatively fit well you don't need all the money in the world uh, same goes for all the other pillars I think finding a really good balance is at the end of the day the aim for everyone a good balance in life means a happy one hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one